Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So, what's up in Japan? Recently, it was reported that the actor for Tokyo Ghoul's upcoming live action movie, Fumika Shimizu, has retired from the entertainment industry in the middle of filming another movie called Dorobo Yakusha. She has requested her agency to terminate her contract as she wants to enter priesthood of a Japan based religious group called Happy Science. Even though the Tokyo Ghoul movie has finished their filming already, there are scenes in other movies that she's in that have not been shot yet. And her walking out of her deals now is going to make a lot of people lose a lot of money. Does this affect the upcoming Tokyo Ghoul movie in any way though? Well, for starters, the film is still set to be released in Japan on July 29th. But apparently, a Tokyo Ghoul movie sequel was already in the plans. And Shimizu was supposed to reprise her role as Toka Kirishima. If Shimizu is calling it quits, that's going to make things difficult seeing how she's a big character. And having a different cast in her role may make things confusing for the audience. They might even need to change the story if they want to follow through with a sequel. For those of you who haven't heard of Tokyo Ghoul or read it before, the series has gotten pretty big over the years, selling over 18 million copies of the manga. So, why is Shimizu quitting in the middle of big contracts with films that will propel her career to the next level? According to Anime News Network, link is in the description below. Shimizu's lawyer, as well as the Happy Science head of PR, held a joint press conference to announce a statement on her behalf. The statement had multiple instances of Shimizu sleeping only three hours during her job on the Kamen Rider movie, working every day of the month while only getting 50,000 yen as her compensation. 50,000 yen is about 400 US dollars, which is probably just enough to feed her at this point. She was also forced to wear swimwear, filming DVDs against her will. It was also noted that her talent agency has been insisting that she must perform the roles she was contracted to do for the remainder of the contract. However, the lawyer and the PR head responded with that Shimizu's health has been going in decline and that the doctors has ordered for her to stop working any further. After February 4th, apparently she hasn't been showing up for work at all, and all parties involved are still trying to figure things out. So, what is this happy science religion that was able to pull an actor halfway through a career changing point out and into priesthood? Happy Science is a new religious and spiritual movement founded in Japan on October 6, 1986 by a man named Ryuho Okawa and has been widely criticized as a cult. He originally worked in a prestigious trading corporation prior to founding his own religion. It has since been recognized as an official religious organization in Japan as well as the USA. Okawa himself claims to channel the spirits of several of the most widely known religious figures known in the history of man, and claims to be the incarnation of the supreme spiritual being called El Kanter. According to Okawa, in order to obtain happiness, one must practice the four principles, love that gives, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress. The only requirement to joining Happy Science is that they must have the aspiration and the discipline to seek the truth and actively contribute to the realization of love, peace, and happiness on earth. Many mainstream media providers or press has constantly slammed the religion as a cult over the years, but it hasn't really slowed their expansion as they're doing conferences even in the states and they've even got their own YouTube channel now, although only with 200 subscribers. So that's pretty much it. What do you think of this whole fiasco with Shimizu and Happy Science? As usual, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it and follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And make sure you're subscribed so you can get the latest things people are talking about in Japan right in your inbox. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.